So I wonder what's taking Gigi so long. I wish she'd hurry up and get here. I want to get over to the potato sack races. Ugh, feels like it's taking her forever. Blue Ombre, have a little bit of patience, mister. I know, you're right. It's just I want to have fun at the fair. I don't want to stand around hanging out doing nothing. Even though I like doing nothing with you, princess. Unicorn, I think Blue's got a crush on you. <laughs> Actually, Unicorn, I did have something I wanted to tell you. You do? What is it? Well, um, I wanted to ask you if you'd be my... My... Your what? My... Hi, guys! Gigi! Hi, Gigi! Oh, man. I can't catch a break. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Blue Ombre. And hi, Bonbon. Bon. Hi, Gigi. So what's up? Why are you here? I'm here because my Toy Squad all voted and the majority ruled and said they wanted to see me turn Unicorn into a Gigi custom Unicorn. So Unicorn, do you want to have your custom done today? I would love to! But will I get to still meet up with my friends at the fair later? Absolutely! As soon as we're done with your custom, you can join everybody over at the potato sack races or go find them at the lemonade stand. Oh, it's going to be awesome, Unicorn! I can't believe it! I'm going to have a permanent horn like you! And maybe a cute little tail! No offense, Bonbon! Bon, but Unicorn, you're going to make the most beautiful Gigi custom Unicorn ever! <laughs> Thank you, Blue. You're welcome, Princess. Now, some people watching, this could be their first time ever here at my channel. And so you might not know this, but Bon Bon was actually my first ever unicorn custom of an LOL doll. And I think she was the first ever unicorn custom LOL ever. And Unicorn is actually the company LOL Surprise, our favorite doll company. They made this little unicorn and I believe it's their first unicorn too. So this is their first unicorn, this is my first unicorn, and Bon Bon is the only one from the unicorn series that has a mane that looks like this where it's three pieces twisted together and it's three different colors. So I thought since Unicorn's very special, I thought it'd be fun to do her mane similar to Bon Bon's. Oh, awesome! I love Bon Bon's mane! Good, I'm glad that you like it. So that sounds like the plan for the mane, and all the rest I want it to be a surprise. So Blue and Bon Bon, you guys can head over to the fair, and as soon as I'm done with Unicorn, she'll come over and meet up with you guys and surprise you with her new makeover. Cool! Well, good luck, Unicorn! We'll see you over there! So, Blue, what were you going to ask me before Gigi showed up? Oh, nothing. Maybe I'll ask you later. Well, good luck, Princess. I'll see you in a bit. Don't have too much fun without me. I won't. I'll see you over the potato sack races soon. Okay, Blue. Bye. Bye, Princess. All right, well, for Unicorn's custom, we're actually going to leave her cute little ruffle skirt on, but I'm going to remove the top, and we're going to start off right away by painting the top half of her. So I am going to remove her top, and we'll do that in private. Okay, so we are back. And you can see, instead of painting white underwear on her, I decided I might as well just paint the top half of the jumpsuit. And I matched it with the green of her shoes so that it would be a mint green color. And talking about color, I'm going to be changing one color on Unicorn. Because Unicorn and Blue are best friends, I thought it'd be fun to put a little bit of blue on Unicorn. So I'm changing one color on Unicorn. Everywhere she's got this light purple color, like on her bangs there, I'm going to actually repaint it in a light blue. Like this. So she is going to be keeping her little ruffle skirt as a part of her jumpsuit because I think it's so precious. We have to keep it. So I painted her top part of her jumpsuit in the mint green. I went over top of her green that was on her skirt so they would match perfectly. Then where it was light purple, I painted baby blue. And then I even mixed up my own pink and went over the pink on the bottom. It's almost identical to the front pink, but those are going to be her new colors that she's going to have. 
She's also going to have little gloves. We're going to completely cover this in glitter so it's going to look very different once it has the glitter on it. So now using a really tiny little paintbrush, I am going to carefully paint the three colors on her skirt. This may look a little messy right now, but I promise you, once it's all covered in glitter, it's going to look beautiful. So now I'm just going to paint the mauve and cover it up using the blue. And we've got some mauve here on this side, this side, and in the middle. So now I'll just paint those blue. And you can see it's going to need two coats. So let's take a look at it completely done. So here she is with two coats of blue and now I'm just going to put on some little green gloves. Now that Unicorn has two coats on everything and it's completely dry, it's time to add some twinkle and I'm going to use this latex glitter paint. Now I decided I'm actually going to add a little bit of glitter to her um, arms as well. So her whole bottom half is going to have a coat of glitter. Now while Unicorn's glitter is drying, I am going to show you how to make her mane, her horn, and her cute little tail. And today I am using Crayola's Model Magic Soft Squishy Modeling Material. And so now we are going to first make the horn. So you just need a small piece of modeling clay. And you're just going to roll it out on a flat surface. And we want to make one end smaller than the other. Kind of into a point. Okay, so you're just going to roll it out until you've got something similar to this and then you just need to cut off the bottom and then you just want to flatten it on a surface so that it dries flat on the bottom and you would just carefully make sure that the horn is the shape that you want it and the length. So we'd let that dry and for the tail you just take another small piece roll it out and I like the tip of the tail to be a bit thinner so once you've got that you can just bend it and shape it until you've got um, the shape that you want and in kind of like the shape of an S and here's one where it's trimmed off flat on the end right here so that it sits up against her back when I glue it on later so that's what you end up with in the end really easy to make and now to make her mane that looks like this and it's twisted together like bonbons and you just need three pieces. So I've got three pieces here that I just rolled out like I did with the horn and the tail and you do the ends a little bit pointed as well. Then we're going to just take all three pieces and pinch them together at the top like this so that it becomes attached and kind of flat. That's where we're going to put that on the top of Unicorn's head. But first we're going to take our three pieces and just carefully twist them together. And then we try it on Unicorn's head. So we just set the squished part here on the top of her head. I just take my fingers and I lightly squish it. And I like to leave that attached so that I can put the horn on top of it. And it gives me something to glue to the top of her head. So then I just curve this part. Make sure that's how I want it. I curve this part around to her hand and then I like to lay them down and dry unicorn like this so her mane stays curled to the side and curled to the front and it'll permanently stay that way which looks really cute, right? So we'll dry her like this. So then once she's completely dry we can now paint her mane and her tail and her horn. So we know Unicorn's horn is gold and so I'm going to paint her new horn gold as well.
And now, Unicorn, I have got her little tail on a pin so that I can carefully paint both sides by moving the tail like this. There we go. I painted a cute little green stripe on this side of the tail, so let's turn it around and now I'll paint a pink one and the pink should cover up that little spot there. Just like Unicorn's hair and her skirt, I'm going to do three colors on the mane and so we'll do one color at a time. I'm going to do this one here in blue. And you just keep following it all the way around. So it'll definitely need a second coat. I'm going to paint all three colors, double coat it, and show you now when it's all done. So as you can see, her mane, her horn, and her little tail over there, they're all completely done and ready to be put on. Oh my goodness, is it time to glue everything into place? It is, but I thought it'd be fun if we got Jeannie to do it. Yes! It'll be so much faster that way. I know, right? I can't wait to see you completely done. Jeannie, come here, please. We need you. I'm here, Unicorn. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Jeannie. Thanks for coming so fast. Oh, it's no problem at all. We're all really excited. Gigi. Yes? I don't want Unicorn to hear. But when I bring her back, can I also bring back all her unicorn friends? Everyone's really excited. They can't wait to see her. I think that's a great idea. Awesome. Do you want me to work my magic now? Yes, please, honey. You got it. Okay, unicorn, look me in the eyes. I'm ready. One, two, three. Oh, wow, this is a nice surprise. You're all here. Hi, Blue. How do I look? How do I look? Oh, Princess, you've never looked more beautiful. Oh, thank you, Blue. It's true. You should see your mane. It's gorgeous. It is? Thank you, Fanime. I am dying to see what I look like. Excuse me, Gigi. Yes, Neon Cutie? Can we get a mirror for Unicorn, please? She wants to see what she looks like. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Gigi's getting a mirror for you now, Unicorn. Yep, here you go. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's so super cute. I love the flowers around my horn. How did you do that, Gigi? I just glued little iridescent flowers and I put some of those rhinestone stickers in the center of the flowers. Ooh, it's really pretty. You used the same rhinestone stickers for my buttons. I did. I put a little blue one on and a pink one just so it would match your skirt. So Unicorn, why don't you do a little spin for everybody and show off your entire outfit? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. How's my tail look, Snow Angel? Adorable. It's got a pink stripe on one side. It does? Then it's got a green stripe on the other. Aww, it sounds so cute. And what do you think, Blue? Do you like my mane? I love the three colors, but of course I love the blue the best. Gigi added the blue just for you. Well, that was nice of her. So, Blue, you were going to ask me something earlier. What was it? I couldn't stop thinking about it all day. I was going to ask you if you'd be my girlfriend, but I changed my mind. Oh, you did? Why? Because instead, I wanted to ask you, Unicorn, I mean Princess, Princess, will you marry me? <gasps> yes! Yes, Blue Ombre! I would love to marry you! I was hoping you'd say yes. Now close your eyes, I've got a little surprise for you. You do? You know how much I love surprises. Well, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, you can look now. What did you do? Oh, you got me a ring, and it's blue. I love it. Unicorn, you got blue earrings, too. It matches your ring. No way. Oh, Blue, I love you. Thank you so much. I love you, too, Princess. 
You want to know something really weird? What's that? I caught the bouquet at Ariana Grande's wedding. Yeah, so what's that mean? Whoever catches the bouquet, they say, is going to be the next bride. Oh, wow, that is weird. I know. I can't believe I'm going to be the next bride. This is way too exciting. I can't wait to pick out a wedding gown. Oh, boy. I have a feeling I'm going to hear a lot about some wedding plans in the next little while. Yes, you are. If you missed Ariana Grande's wedding, I'll put up a link right now in the top corner for all of my bride customs. And thank you to everybody who voted and decided that we would change Unicorn into a GG Custom Unicorn. So all of you that wrote GG Custom, I did 14 pages of shout outs for you all and some superstar shout outs as well. If you put GG Custom in the last couple of days and your name's not there, it's because I did do all of those shout outs, which is, I think there's over 300. I did them all up a couple of days ago and so they were completed then. So hopefully you'll be in um, shout outs in the future. Normally I don't do that many shout outs but everyone that wrote GG Custom I wanted to give them a special shout out today. And I will be doing top four superstar shout outs in future videos so the people that leave the sweetest comments are the ones that are going to get the superstar shout outs. So watch for those and your play along question of the day is one of the unicorns from my unicorn series was not here when we did the big reveal. Who was missing? Write it in the comment section. So Gigi, am I going to be your next bride custom? You're definitely going to be my next bride custom. And let's ask the Toy Squad, do you want to see Unicorn be my next bride custom? If you do, write Gigi Custom in the comment section. And you guys can head back to the fair. Have fun! Bye for now. I'll see you guys soon.